Hi again. Off on a, a spring wild camp. Um, I'm going to camp on a Kinder Scout. Now my original plan was to camp at the, the highest point on Kinder Scout, which is in fact the highest point in Derbyshire. But uh, I went to wreck it a uh, few weeks ago and see what it was like. I'll just put a picture up. Well, this would appear to be the summit. Although, I'm not 100% sure. I will have a look. Right, that's the summit. Pim's chair is over that way somewhere. Ah, Pim chair's over there. Here to be it, um, a two foot high pile of stones. Uh, like I say, it was waterlogged. Uh, there was no decent views. Um, so I thought, I'm not wasting a good night wild camping in a spot like that. I might try it in the uh, the winter when the snow's down. I, I dare say it'll look a lot better then. Anyway, so my plan today, I'm still camping on Kinder Scout. Um, I'm actually walking up uh, Crowden Clough at the moment. Uh, I'm then going to go straight across the top of Kinder Scout to Fairbrook Nays, which is on the northern side. Um, it's very quiet over there. Uh, nobody tends to go that side because it is a bit inaccessible but it's great you've got the place to yourself so I'm going to carry on walking up here I'll talk to you in a bit unbelievable weather to say it's late April This is where it gets steep. Mind you, I can't believe this weather. It's end of April, it's May next week. Didn't expect it to be snowy, but it adds to it. But this is the last bit this and it's really steep. This is when you think, I wish I hadn't brought a tent. I wish I brought my bivvy bag. Did I need all that food? Couldn't I have just had some dehydrated food? And did I really need that flask of whiskey? Anyway, the sun will probably be out in an hour, who knows. Onward to the top. Anyway, as you can see, I've got my compass. The only way across here is basically on a compass bearing. You get the deep groughs, you try and follow those, you get totally disorientated. It's just like a, a great big maze, um, especially when the mist is down like this all, although it'll probably clear in a bit. Uh, I'm even hoping this will blow over and the, the sun will come out eventually. Anyway, so I'm going to carry on across here. I think I've got about a mile of this and then I get to Fairbrook Nays and uh, I'm going to set up camp there. So we'll see you in a bit. Some of the groffs you have to uh, cross are really deep so all you can really do is drop down one side and scramble back up the other side best you can. Nearly across now, Fairbrook Nays, it's only about uh, another two or three hundred metres, so it's not far. It's been a tough crossing that, I'm not going back this way. Um, I've crossed it quite a few times when I've been out walking. I've only got a light, light rucksack on my back, I've got £25 on my back here, so it, it is, it's hard going, you're sinking deeper, you're dropping down, it's harder to climb up the other side. A lot of the smaller ones, I used to jump, it was quite good fun. I ain't jumping with this on me back, so on a couple, they're, they're only narrow, but I've had, uh, 
I've had to throw my rucksack over and then, then go and jump uh, it because uh, they're only narrow but they're about eight foot deep with water in the bottom. Um, so it has been a tough crossing and as well with the snow, um, I never expected that at all. Uh, I know we were going to have some snow showers but um, I didn't think it would settle like this. Anyway, it's, uh, it's quite good up here. I think I'm probably the only person up here for this side of uh, Kinder. Anyway, I'm going to head off to Fairbrook Nays. Uh, there's a uh, little brook, Fairbrook. I'm going to gather some water there uh, to filter and uh, then go and find somewhere to pitch my tent. This is about the last place I can get any water, uh, Fairbrook. Um, so I'm going to gather my water up and I've got a soya filter so I'll be able to filter it uh, where I'm camped. Right, uh, time to start cooking my tea, although it's uh, hailing and snowing and everything. What have we got here? Sweet chilli, stir fry sauce, a bag of uh, stir fry peppers, some nice uh, ribeye steak and some noodles so that's the water for the noodles that's just gone on so i'm just going to get that up to boil i'll we'll just save that for a bit get the old frying pan on bit of oil. Well I've not cooked in a hailstorm before. Right, I'm going to drop this stir fry veg in now. I should flavour it, sweet chilli, stir fry sauce. Oh, forgot my noodles. So that can go to one side. Mm, so I've just got to boil these for four minutes. The new so just give them a couple more minutes and then we'll get it stir fry back on, mix it all together. I'll have to have a clear round when I've finished because I'm dropping bits all over. Right, stir fry back on. So I think we'll say that's done, that's um, ribeye steak, stir fried vegetables, chilli sauce and noodles. I think that'll warm me up, keep me warm through the night. Oh. Right, um, I've had all my food now, just come out to have a last look around. Uh, not too much daylight left, uh, that's the sun just dropping down um, over in the distance, uh, going down in uh, the west over Manchester. The sky has started to clear a bit so I reckon it might be in for quite a cold night.
I'll just pan around. As you can see, the snow line is probably only these last probably 500 feet. Um, everything below that, oh, that looks nice looking at the north edge there. Right, uh, just got woke up with the, um, the wind outside. Um, Seems to have picked up a bit, so thought I'd make myself a, a drink, just something to do and warm me up. Um, don't mind using the gas stove inside the tent, although it does create a lot of steam. But uh, up to now, being pretty warm. Christ, I've got all the steam coming off. But I think it's really cold outside. Uh, I mean, I'm filming this on uh, this little uh, Sony um, uh, mobile phone, which I've uh, only recently got. But a situation like this, it's it's great. It's so handy. Um, I've done a few few bits with it. Um, sometimes it's easier to take this out, film a little bit, than getting me a uh, big uh, SLR camera out. And the images are pretty good on it as well. Um, other thing is, uh, I mean, I'm top of Kinder Scout. I must be miles from any built-up area, and I've got perfect 4G on this little phone. I've being able to look at the the TV, the news, um, get a weather forecast. The thing weather forecast for this area, he said for the Peak District, were minus two. So up here, uh, probably a thousand feet higher. Um, it might even be lower than that. But uh, yeah, so useful. I've even on um, WhatsApp, my wife and. Uh, teenage sons introduced me to it um, I've even been able to take a few pictures outside with the tent in the snow and I think it's whatsapp I've sent them back to my wife she's received them so uh, modern technology I've got to try and keep up with it it would appear but uh, yeah it really impressed with it yeah right good morning um, I've had a decent night bit windy but otherwise fine just prepared me breakfast uh, just coffee and some muesli fruit and uh, like powdered milk uh, both very easy to make just boiling water my stove outside well, it was covered in snow earlier um, I use that in the night to uh, heat the water up in my hot water bottle again and my gators look well and truly frozen. Doesn't look so good out there. I don't know if that shows up, but there's a very wintry sunshine trying to get through. But just check the forecast and it's uh, freezing temperatures, snow, sleet, most of the morning. So I'll have to decide what to do next, uh, which route to take back. Anyway, I'm gonna get on and have my breakfast now. About eight o'clock in the morning now. Uh, I've had my breakfast. I'm ready to uh, to set off. I've still not decided which route I'm going to take back. Um, it's quite horrendous up here. It's starting to snow again now. As you can see, the the tent's not looking too bad. Um, got a fair bit of snow on it earlier, but I heard it slide off. Uh, but um, normal. Kinder Scout weather this you can't see further than about 10 meters probably get down in the valley bottoms and there'll be a nice green grass uh, not a drop of snow at all but I'm basically gonna unceremoniously just drop this tent push it into a bag and then uh, 
get a bit of shelter behind the rocks over there and then decide what to do uh, whether to go along the edge this northern edge and then um, I can get across on the seven minute crossing or whether I go straight over Kinder using my compass, compass to Grinsbrook and then straight down to Edale but I'll decide what to do in a bit so the next thing is just to drop the tem Right, uh, managed to get my tent packed up um, just a matter of pushing it straight into a, a stuff sack uh, got quite a lot of ice on it so I say it weighs a little bit more than uh, it did when I brought it up um, conditions are a bit rubbish can't see more than about 10 metres um, and a bit more snow's come down but um, you keep seeing breaks in the cloud so I think it's going to clear I think I'll head straight up back over uh, Kinder Scout Plateau uh, it's a direct route I was hoping if I walked down the northern edge for a few miles and then cut across I'd get some good views we're not going to see much today up here so I'm going to go down to the top of Fairbrook um, get a compass bearing from there and head uh, straight over to uh, the top of Grinsbrook uh, and then straight down to Edale that's uh, probably my me, me shortest way back so um, we'll see how we go at that right I've just taken my uh, bearing with my compass to get across uh, Kinder Scout doesn't look very inviting got about a mile and a half uh, to do our end. This is the top of um, Fairbrook Nays. Uh, it's actually the River Fairbrook. Um, so, just a matter of taking my time and carefully uh, trying to keep to my bearing and see where, see if I end up at the top of Grinsbrook. Uh, about halfway across now, um, the sun's come out and uh, makes all the difference. It's, uh, it's quite enjoyable, it's quite a pleasant walk. I've still got all the gruffs to clamber up and down, but um, it, it makes such a difference. Uh, you can actually see where you're going. Right, uh, Mongrins Brook uh, Knoll at the moment. Some fantastic views from up here. Um, this sort of brings this camp to an end. Um, it was certainly different. I, I went out um, for basically a, a spring camp. Uh, I thought I might get the odd snow shower. I didn't know I'd get all this snow. I'm just pleased I got my winter coat and warm clothing. Most winter sleeping bag, etc. I'd, I'd got all my winter gear really with me. Um, 
I left a few items at home I didn't uh, think I'd need. Uh, I'm glad I brought me liquid fuel stove. I were in two minds whether, oh, I'll bring a gas stove, I'll be all right. So that, that was a good decision to bring that. Um, but yeah, it was a good, good camp. Uh, it's probably the last of the snow I would think we'll see this year. It's May Day uh, on Monday, Thursday today, so uh, we'd expect uh, some warmer temperatures. Anyway, so what I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll leave you with a few pictures uh, from up here, uh, just see where, how far down the snow goes. And uh, again, thanks for, for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next camp. See you then.